There are many themes in Jesus' teaching that are significant for teachers. These include the role of Scripture, distinguishing the important from the trivial, recognizing the big picture, emphasizing service, and looking to the future. First, the role of Scripture. In his teaching, Christ used Scripture in a variety of ways. For example, to initiate thought. What is written in the law? Jesus replied. How do you read it? Luke 10, 26. He also used Scripture to clarify connections. Then, what is the meaning of that which is written? The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. Luke 20, 17. Another use of Scripture was to expand concepts. You have heard that it was said, Do not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5, verses 27 and 28. Jesus also used the Word of God to help his students understand the past. And beginning with Moses and the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Luke 24, verses 26 and 27. Finally, Jesus used scripture to present a call to action. Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers? Mark 11, 17. Another theme in Christ's teaching was distinguishing the essential from the trivial. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, he counseled, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Seek first God's kingdom, and all these things will be given to you as well. Luke 12, verses 22 through 31. Repeatedly, he warned the teachers and religious leaders not to lose focus on what truly mattered. A further theme was helping his students to recognize the bigger picture. One day, a group of Pharisees asked Jesus if it was lawful for a man to divorce his wife. In response, Jesus placed the matter of divorce in the context of God's purpose for humanity. Similarly, Christ clarified that anger is a form of murder, that lust is adultery, and that one should not repay evil with evil. In each instance, Christ wanted his listeners to glimpse the larger picture. Through his teaching and his own life, Christ emphasized service. When his students were arguing among themselves as to who would occupy the highest position, Jesus reminded them of the priority of service. Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Matthew 20, verse 28. While Christ did not ignore the value of the past or present, he also highlighted the significance of the future. In the Gospel Commission, Christ instructed, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Then he added, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. Walking in the footsteps of the master teacher, we also should emphasize the themes of his teaching. The role of Scripture distinguishing the important, recognizing the bigger 
picture, an emphasis on service, and a view to the future.